We are loud, obnoxious, and completely inappropriate. Viewer's discretion is strongly advised. Hello everyone and welcome to Camping with Lenny. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Gazelle T4 tent. So, the T4 tent is a, okay, I don't know where to begin with this one because uh, there's a lot of things I want to talk about this tent. So let's just go through the disclaimer por portion of this. Um, I bought this tent with my own money. Gazelle did not send me this. The Gazelle was not involved at all with this review. I bought this tent for my personal use and for and for me to use. And this is going to be my run-of-the-mill normal guy review for this tent. So let's start going. Let's go with the uh, the tent first. Let's go for the options. So there are ver there's there's variants of this tent. One is the the T4. T4 Plus and a T4 Overland edition. Let's go through the difference. So the T4, the straight T4 is just your basic, your entry level tent. Your T4 Plus is the same tent footprint, same, same everything. The only difference is they tacked in another section to make it longer. And that other section is like a shelter. It's literally a very big vestibule slash uh, shelter. Uh, the other one is called the Overland uh, Edition. The only difference between the original, uh, the the, uh, the 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 entry level. I don't want to keep calling it entry level, but the straightforward T4 is the, uh, an updated pegs, updated um, yeah, updated pegs, updated footprint, and updated bag. That's the only difference. For, uh, it's um, so the. Yeah, that's the only difference. Oh, and the um, and the, just the regular tent, the T4 tent, uh, you do have two options. One is the Sunset Orange, uh, and the other one is called the Alpine Green. I personally got the Alpine Green. The reason why I got the Alpine Green is the color of it. Well, the color is actually very, very nice. Um, uh, the reason why I got the Alpine Green instead of the orange is uh, I camp. Majority of the time it's in a wilderness or in a park that's covered with green. And I like to be incognito as much as possible. I don't want something bright to like, hey, there's someone's there. And the green the alpine green actually matches the surrounding, right? Um, the orange is bright. It is incredibly bright. You know someone's there because of the tent. Because typically when you get a tent, it's usually dark blue, dark red, and it's very dark colors. But the orange is very, very bright. It's like almost, um, it's almost like, uh, the like traffic cone orange. It's very, very bright, but it's pretty bright. It's a very nice orange though, but it's very bright. Um, so that's the, that's your options itself. So I ended up getting the regular T4 and not get the Overland version or the T4 Plus is because of the size of it. Uh, the purpose for me getting this tent is to, to have a tent that I can go solo camping with. Um, I don't want, uh, currently before this tent, I actually have the REI Kingdom 6. They rebranded to, uh, they redesigned it and called it the Base Camp 6 now, but they're just exactly the same tent. Um, little minor changes uh that tent is a beautiful tent i love that tent but unfortunately it takes me about half an hour to set up by myself this one took me about less than 90 less than 60 seconds to set it up so that's why i got this tent so so my goal was getting this tent is to get something that's uh easy to set up by myself especially if you're going solo especially car camping thing you don't want to spend time setting up your tent. You just want to set up your tent and just call it a day, right? And there's a lot of things you can you need to get done in your campsite as well, too. You don't want to spend too much time setting up your tent. And plus, if it's going to be raining, you want to set up your tent first because that's going to be your shelter as well. So that's why I got this tent. So let's go to, um, let's start talking about the pros and cons. Let's talk about the 
cons first. I think the cons are very interesting in this tent. Uh, we'll start with fish, uh, fit and finish on this tent. Um, so the tent itself is actually very nice. It's very neat. It's, um, it's a very well polished design. The only problem is this. The, um, there's patches inside the tent where the, uh, where the hubs uh, meet where it intersects and it intersects into a um to, into eye bolt to eye, uh, to, into a, a bolt that's connected to the outside so when you pull it that's where it actually holds right makes sense no issues there but here's a problem though there's a patch on the tent itself supposed to minimize the rubbing between the hub and the material the, the tent material unfortunately those patches are not where it's supposed to be some of them are very high up some of them are low some of them are, are just off some of them are bang on right but here's the thing though um this is kind of kind of weird because uh, for a product this kind of uh, for, for, for this kind of product the fit and finish is not there very disappointing fit and finish incredibly disappointed uh the other ones well too when i bought the tent uh, a month and a half two months ago then when you set it up there's actually a net on top of the uh of the tent uh, inside itself the it's like a storage net uh mine came ripped in the corner um i'm not gonna submit a claim for warranty for the tiny rip but good for me i don't use it so i didn't bother uh I don't use it. I just took it out. The first thing I did is say, took it out and put it in one of the pockets. So that's one. Um, that's that's two for the fit and finish portion of this. Uh, the other one as well too is the um, is the lack of a vestibule, uh, or even a, a lack of extra flap. Right. So the tent itself has two entrances. One is the front. One is the back. It's just adjacent. It's literally like, like at the other side of the tent. Um, this does not have a vestibule. Or even additional material to to have a fighting chance to become a vestibule especially where the doors are and the reason why i'm saying that is uh when you go camping weather is not there all the time weather is not going to be cooperating sometimes you need to put your shoes outside especially if it's raining in this scenario with this current setup if you don't get the plus you don't get that option if it rains, you bring your shoes in, or your flip flops, or whatever your 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 yeah your shoes into the tent. But unfortunately, it will get dirty inside really fast, right? And people wants to be barefooted and make sure the tent inside is clean, right? So you don't have that in my old tent, my T4, uh, and sorry, in my uh, my Kingdom Six, I have a vestibule. It was a tiny, tiny vestibule, but it works. It works supposed. It works in a way that um, if it rains. I put my uh, shoes inside, inside the vestibule, and it's gonna keep dry. If I would, that I need to keep dry, I put it there. Anything like equipment-wise that I need to keep dry, I leave it inside, outside, but I keep it dry out from the elements. In this case, I don't have that option. The only way I can have that option is to upgrade to the T4 Plus, and it's not worth it, right? Um, I thought there's uh, gonna be a, uh, an option to have a vestibule. I'll pay for the option for the vestibule, but there's no options. So now I have to figure out how to hack this in a way that I'll have a vestibule going forward, All right? So n minor things like that, small things like that will make the stent a lot better than it's supposed to be, where it is now. Okay, that's, that's my cons. Now let's talk about the pros. Again, for me, the pros outweighs the cons. Overall, there's no tent or no products that's 100% perfect. And the pros, you just have to look at the pros in a way that uh, it works for you. So let's talk about the pros. I mentioned earlier that uh, the setup itself is the key for me. The, the setup, it has to be perfect. It has to be fast. It has to be reliable. So like I mentioned earlier, I had an REI Kingdom 6 so, tent it takes me about half an hour to set it up especially if I'm, if I'm by myself 15 minutes if I have another person but half an hour to set up for my by myself and if you're going solo camping a half an hour to set up yourself is for me is unacceptable so 
because I want to enjoy my time outdoors. I want to enjoy sitting down, having a beer, just relaxing, right? And I don't want to spend half an hour to set up, set up that tent, so that's why. The, the hub style tent was very, very enticing because you can set it up in less than, less than 60 seconds. Then you can enjoy your, camp, your, camp, your camping, right? So with this tent, 60 seconds, with the fly on before you before you pack it done i'm happy perfect okay that's one the second one that was very very impressed i'm the very very shock i'm not sure if this design or or this feature was um was a, was was um attention uh it was part of it or it was never been considered it or or anything like that but 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 the installation value of this tent um, here's a good example. My first camping t trip with this tent was back in May. It was cold and raining. It was just miserable. Overall, it was just a very miserable time. And, um, and before I went to bed, the temperature did drop to single digit. So I think high was 20 degrees Celsius. It dropped to around eight degrees Celsius overnight. And, um, it was raining. It's like 100% rain. It's like 100%. It was just rain. It was miserable rain. And uh, what happened is, um, I, I, um, I went inside after dinner. I just stayed inside because it was again it was raining, and I left all the flaps of the windows open to get some cross breeze, so I won't get a little stuffy inside, right? But, um, but the, but the crosswind where the windows are located. It gave, it got really cold inside the tent really fast. It, let's just say the cross speed was great, but the temperature dropped dramatic, no, dramatically. So what I ended up doing is um, I ended up closing the windows and um, the temperature of the tent actually went up, right? It just literally went up and it was became the point that it was very comfortable to just sit there uh, with the shorts and, 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 and a sweater, right? It was just very, very comfortable overall, so I was very happy with that. And um, yeah, I was, it was very, very impressed. I'm not sure if it was, a, it was just an intent of making the, 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 uh, the tent itself with an R value or, or even a 0.1% R value of warmth or like insulation. It makes a big difference while you're camping, right? And um, I was very, very happy with that. Again, I'm not sure if it's intent or if it's um, if it's just by accident or it's just a thing with the materials that they used, right? But it does have that insulation. I felt like there's an insulation in that, so that's a positive thing. Um, the next one that I want to talk to you about the positive side or the pros of this tent is the size of it. Um, I was very shocked how roomy is inside this tent like incredibly there's a lot of room inside like i currently have i'm looking inside my tent right now i have a cot i have a side table like a foldable side table and a camping chair inside so it's a, literally like a living room inside <laughs> a sitting area and um from the outside it doesn't feel like it's a big tent but when you walk inside it just it gives you that massive feel of like room right because there's nothing really bowing inwards Granted, the wall itself does bow a bit inwards, but it doesn't really like collapse by itself inside, right? So it has that nice, um, nice open area. It's not like a cathedral style um, tent, like or or a, or a dome style tent. This one is more like a um, a four sided box, and it does work. It does really, really work. And um, my next attempt I'm going to try to do with the stand is actually the wife to come with me to go camping and put another cot inside and see how much room, room we have left. And I got this feeling we're going to have tons of room left if we do, if we put another cot inside. So again, um, this is going to be my primary tent for going forward. But if I need something more room, need more room, more people are coming with us, then I'll take my REI tent. But for now, this is going to be my main tent. And um, no, I'm very, very happy with this tent overall. That was my positive side. Um, yeah, overall, I'll go, if, I, if I'm going to give this a score overall, I'll give it a Lenny score. I think I'm going to make, make that as a thing, a Lenny score. 
I'll give this about an 8 out of 10. Reason why is the uh, lack of the vestibule and the fit and finish that I got with this tent. If Gazelle's listening, if you can tell me why those patches are not supposed to be, then I'll let you guys know. Um, again, the fit and finish part is kind of weirded out. It's not like overall the tent is like going to fall apart, but it's just minor details like that. It's just incredibly insane to deal with. <laughs> um, and the, also the, the lack of vestibule or lack of extra flap to have a potential shelter to put to, to put your stuff outside and not worry about getting it wet um for now i'll probably be gonna be keeping it as is if i do decide to put some uh like a, a hack together to make this work it's probably just gonna be a simple tarp not too bad though i really like this form factor um i don't want to, uh, for me to go to a four plus it's just doesn't make any sense for my it doesn't make sense to me it's just too big for something that I don't need. So um, that is my review for the Gazelle T4. Again, I give it eight out of 10 uh, Lenny score. And um, again, this is my uh, my go-to tent until uh, this thing dies or, or if I upgrade. Thanks guys.